And I heard you say that 50% of people younger than the age of 30 don't know the word Holocaust. If these stories by filmmakers are not told, then the statistics will only get worse. And if we can't remember history, there is a greater chance of repeating it. Did it feel like somewhat of a mission and almost a responsibility for taking a project like the Song of Names going on this journey? Yes, uh, uh, absolutely. I think we're all collectively increasingly captive of the present technologies that are surrounding us, the little screens that we have in our hands or on our desk are sort of sucking us into the present of the present. And then we become, I think, more and more detached and uh, lose touch with the past and the future. And, and you just said it beautifully. It's, if we cannot keep track of the previous generations and what happened and the victories and the beautiful things that happened, but also the incredible, horrible chapters in genocides and holocausts and other dark corners of our history. Like if we cannot keep sight of that, I think we are handicapped in facing the future. Film, I think, is still a beautiful vehicle to travel in time and to escape from that, the jail of the present. Uh, but it's, you know, like literature does the same thing, music. I think as an artist, I do feel responsibility to address that and, and look back and, and look forward. Like, like I'm just working on a project now that is not set in the past, but in the future. And, and it's a similar experience where you're trying to get perspective on what's happening now. And God knows that there's a lot happening now. So I think, I think it's important to step back, take some distance or some altitude and try to understand the, the larger arcs that are driving our world at the moment. <laughs> ¶¶ 